Hello, my name is Monica Aiello and this is my husband, Tyler Aiello. We are artists that have had this wonderful opportunity to work closely with NASA and the scientific community, exploring the connections between art and the sciences. And over the last year, we've been out working with schools and students and teachers with this new curriculum called Art and the Cosmic Connection. The program was developed for NASA's Discovery and New Frontiers programs and has been this wonderful way to use the elements of art to learn about the surfaces of the planets, moons, and small bodies of our solar system. So today what we're going to do is we're really going to get our hands dirty and talk about the art part. And I'd like Tyler to give you a little overview of what we have sitting out in front of us. So today the main materials we're going to be using are pastels. And as you can see in front of me, I have a whole collection of pastels, different sizes, shades, colors, even pencils. Um, some of the other things that we'll be using today are things like gummy erasers, which are great for blending and removing the pastels. There's also Q-tips, which can be used very well for blending and again removing. We also have a traditional blending stick. This again is used for blending and removing your pastels and creating lines. Um, paper towels or toilet paper, um, any kind of household paper product you could use as well. And then a very important thing to have are baby wipes. And baby wipes are great because they can quickly remove the pastels from your hand and allow you to continue to blend and work without creating too much mud on the surface. So to get the project started, oftentimes I know, especially if you're not used to creating a lot of artwork, you look at this white page and you go, oh my gosh, it's called blank canvas syndrome. What do I do next? So we wanted to kind of get you comfortable with the process and walk you through how we would address it. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to pick an image that really inspires you from the wonderful NASA images that you will be provided with, whether you're um, in class or you're an educator. And you can pick something like a more global image, like these two images, or it could be a closer up image of a planetary surface. You might choose to work in color, you might choose to work in black and white. But the point is, is that you want to choose something that really inspires you and makes you want to draw. So, before we start drawing, we're going to talk a little bit more about pastels and some of the marks that you can make. And again, the pastel, they come in different sizes. Um, normally they're square. This gives you a nice broad surface. So there is the big flat side as well as a sharp corner side, as well as the tip or the bottom of the pastel. And all of these give you the ability to make different marks. So for instance, here I'm using the broad side of the pastel, and that was done pushing down very hard. This time I'm going to push a little bit lighter. And as you can see, the lighter I push, the lighter the mark the pastel makes. The other thing that you can do with the pastel is to turn it onto its, its short edge and by varying the pressure and twisting the pastel you can make various lines that give you a very a value and line quality. Um, as we talked about earlier, blending, if you don't like it, and that's the nice thing about pastels, is they're really easy to kind of blend out and go back over with other colors. So don't feel like if you put something down on the piece of paper that you don't like, you're going to be stuck with it. Um, another thing that you can do is to add, use either hairspray or spray fix, which will isolate that layer of pastel and allow you to continue working on top. And these gummy erasers or kneaded erasers are really effective too to remove areas of the pastel pigment or simply make some interesting textures. What I think is what, the most wonderful about pastels is they have this beautiful pigment load and they give you these amazing colors. And we're showing you a lot of tools you can use to blend your pat pastels, but honestly, one of the best tools you'll have are your fingers. Don't be afraid to get down and really make a mess. Tyler and I like to say that you're having the most fun in making art when you're making a mess. So we'll go into more detail, do some demonstrations, teach you how to make some different planetary 
features as well as go into more in-depth about how to use the material in later segments. So let's have fun and make some great planetary-inspired art pieces.